A Boston jury has found the man who called himself Clark Rockefeller guilty of kidnapping his own daughter. He now faces up to five years in prison. ABC's Andrea Canning has more. We, the jury, say that the defendant is guilty of offenses charged. It took the jury four days to decide if the man known as Clark Rockefeller was crazy or just calculating when he kidnapped his seven-year-old daughter last July. This was a complicated case and not as clear-cut as it might seem to those who have followed it only in the media. We were very thorough in our deliberations. Rockefeller is really Christian Karl Gerhardt Strider, a con man from Bavaria, Germany. During the six days of testimony, the jury heard lie after lie. People were blaming him for the failure of the Asian financial markets. He told me he was working at Harvard. As witnesses painted a picture of a man obsessed with the finer things in life. Steak ta ta. But the jury didn't buy the defense's argument that Rockefeller's delusions led him to kidnap his daughter. It's clear the jury had, had some difficulty synthesizing this in a way that made sense to them. Former prosecutor Beth Karras followed the trial from the beginning. I've seen cases where people are really, really psychotic and juries are still split. It is not surprising that this man, who is extremely intelligent and planned this out, that they rejected the defense and, and, and found that he understood the wrongfulness. The judge sentenced Rockefeller to up to five years behind bars. The defendant displayed no regard for the rule of law. Where the man with so many aliases will now be known as just a number. For Good Morning America, Andrea Canning, ABC News.